Welcome back. A new study discovered that a chemical found in sucralose that's sold under the trade name Splenda, you know that brand. Well, the study has found that it damages DNA. Researchers from NC State and UNC are behind these new findings. This is a big study, and so we wanted to talk to the folks behind it. The study's lead researcher, Susan Schiffman, joins us now live. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. It's enjoyable to be here. First question, explain what this chemical does to our DNA. That sounds like a pretty big deal. Yeah, well, it breaks it up. That's a pretty big deal. And it also, if you apply it to cells, it will, you can actually see broken chromosomes in the cells. And when it gets into the gut, it can induce genes, which are, you know, part of DNA, and it can cause inflammation and even cancer. Okay, expand on that. So, so how, how exactly does this, this chemical impact overall gut health? Because I know that was a big part of your study. Right. Uh, what it does is it damages the little connections between the cells, and it can let compounds, uh, let, let ingredients, for example, in the food supply or other compounds le leach into your body that should be uh, excreted in the, in the, uh, from the intestines. Also, Sucralose itself will damage the uh, the bacteria in the cell in the in the gut, and it, and it kills off the good bacteria, which is not good. How much Splenda uh, or sucralose needs to be consumed in order for this to be harmful? Well, this is what's really interesting that we found is that the amount of sucralose six acetate, this compound is, that is in a single packet of Splenda or in one drink is enough to exceed what's called the, to the, it's called the threshold of toxicological concern. It's the level used in the food industry and in Europe at the European food agencies to say that this is too much genotoxic compound in the food supply. And so a single packet is too much. Uh, and we certainly don't want to consume this over a period of time because repeated, uh, repeated consumption kills off good bacteria over time. Okay. It also bioaccumulates. Mm -hmm. Okay, one packet, that, that's pretty jarring because there are so many people who, who use Splenda as an artificial sweetener. So how do, how do other artificial sweeteners compare risk-wise? Okay, risk-wise, sucralose is worse. It kills off the good bacteria with repeated use. It forms toxic compounds called chloropropanols when you heat it, like when you make a cake. It's fat soluble, so it will bioaccumulate in your body and it damages the intestinal uh, membranes, which causes things like irritable bowel syndrome. So basically the data show it's not a good idea to, to consume sucralose. So if you have some yellow packets or you have drinks in the house that have sucralose in them, I would say discard them. Wow, uh, a really enlightening study. Thank you so much for joining us here on WRAL. Susan Schiffman joining us live.